we are revered along the world. No matter what we look like, where we come from, anybody that here that you're a Jamaican, they want to know it. We walk different, we talk different, we square our shoulders different, and we have a particular swag about us that gives us our culture and our cultural roots. That's not by accident. The kind of blood that you have running in your veins is a serious piece of blood. It is not by accident that you're Jamaican. It is not by accident that you're young people who have had an experience which will make you stronger. And it is your test right now to make sure that your child, or when you do have a child, that you will pass on that courage to them. So even though it seems hard now, sometimes I have a child too and I know that getting up in the morning sometimes is difficult. Not only do you have to get up, but you have to get ready. Plus come to school. Plus walk that journey on the bus. Plus probably get dropped off. Plus walk back with the baby. You know, I'm not car seat sometimes when you have to walk down Hope Road. And I see many of you walking down Hope Road with that baby on your shoulder. And I applaud you. Because this journey does not stop for you. It's actually just the beginning of your journey. One of the things that I made sure of when I was Minister of Youth and Culture was that in homage to Nanny, we made sure that we got our first World Heritage Site, which is the Blue and Jonker Mountains. And when we walked that Blue and Jonker Mountains, when UNESCO came and really saw where Nanny, where she positioned her people, it was at the top of the mountain. It wasn't in the middle, it wasn't at the bottom. You couldn't get to her. And so what I'm saying to you today is that place yourself at the pinnacle of whatever is great for your life. So that regardless of whatever happens, regardless of whatever bludgeons you on whatever particular day, your soul can rest assured that your value system and your goals are at the highest priority so that no one can get to them and no one can knock you off of your pinnacle. And don't tell anybody, don't apologize for it. Don't apologize for your presence. Don't tell anybody or don't let anybody feel that you're a mistake, not even your own mother or your relatives. Because people have a tendency to speak negatively to you. And so today, I want to leave you with that message of courage and hope. You have to walk courageously. You have to think differently. And when truth is on your side, one is a majority. So even if you are standing on your own, make sure you stand on your own and you speak up and you speak out because nobody else is going to do it for you. So if you want good, then no one's So bless you all.